All right, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka That Variety Nerd, and today we are gathered here. Holy cow. Okay, there we go. We're gathered here for the return of uh, good old MyGM. Wait, we got a pyro budget this time? What? <laughs> if you missed the last episode, uh, we're, we're running a little thin on the budget. <laughs> Representing the OC by way of Tokyo, Japan, weighing <laughs> in at 292 pounds. All righty. Well, uh, we're here with uh, a bit of a spotlight sort of episode, if you will. We're on week eight of season one. It's been a little bit since we filmed an episode of My GM, hasn't it? Uh, I just, you know, we had. PLEs and reactions and just a lack of motivation. <laughs> and I figured let's end the month out strong. Let's have an, let's have at least one or two episodes of my GM and just get back into the swing of things. Uh, so there's that. I, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I haven't really played that much in the game in, in June because well, just different priorities. But we've got Luke Gallows on the roster. We've got Slade. Hey, Good old Slade. Just good old Slade. <laughs> Listen, we needed some extra people on the roster that we could actually afford, okay? We don't want everybody burning out on the roster. So, uh, there's that. Uh, either way around, grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage, get comfy and cozy. Let's get to it, people. We're going to watch a couple matches, as we usually do. Uh, we also have another feature kind of matchup coming up after this one. So, two for one for week eight. We'll, we'll speed through uh, week nine, and then we'll set up the PLE. So, that way the next time that we get over here, it'll be the PLE, uh, which I believe will- Oh god, which one was it? I just saw it. <laughs> I just saw it before I started the match. Oh god, well we've got a PLE on, about to just happen in the next episode. So that's exciting. Here we go, people. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Luke Gallows versus Slade here in the high school gym. We're just gonna be, like, just chilling here in the high school gym for, like, five years, I think. I don't know. But kind of the fun part about my GM is, like, you fe I feel like you actually have to work a little bit in this game, in this game, you know? And just in the mode and all that. Like, I don't know. I mean, it kind of depends on the difficulty level, of course, but it's like you really go through the ringer with the general manager, to say the least. I love getting emails from Zillow as if I'm actually going to be able to actually get into a house anytime soon. <laughs> I was like, what are all these emails coming in for? It's like almost 7 o'clock at night. Oh. Well, Luke Gallows is, you know, on the offense right here. Slade had a little bit of offense right out of the gate. Oh boy. Huge knee right there from Slade. I swear, if, like, Slade had a manager, he might have been onto something in my rise, but, you know. It's just... Oh, Slade. <laughs> oh. Gallows is busted open. Huge kick right to Gallows. And Slade's going right for the arm and the hand and the hand. I don't know why. I don't know why I thought there was something else coming after that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome board of we do my GM. I'm contemplating just a another series at some point. Although my motivation is dwindling at this point. I, I don't know about y'all, but my motivation for 2K24 this year is at, at, at like nil. Almost. It, it might be because it's the warmer weather out or something. I don't know. I just, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know how your 2K game is going because I, I swear, it's like I, I come in, I film, and then I'm, and then I'm out. <laughs> but like, I, I, like the first month or two, I would just be like playing it quite a bit. And then like the last month or two, I'm like, oh, the weather's actually nice. <laughs> Oh, right into the ropes right there. Oh, the 
that might be it for Slade. Gallo's going in for the cover there. Could this be it? But yeah, uh, we try to call the action on my GM, but it's mostly a chit-chatty kind of video. Although, to be fair, most of my videos that are gaming-related have turned basically chit-chatty. Uh, so we're recording this on Tuesday before NXT, so hopefully I'm able to film and or edit uh, before NXT starts. Probably at least getting it filmed, which I'm okay with. So this should hopefully be up on Tuesday. And then Wednesday it's supposed to rain, so I'll probably film another video or two. We'll see how the energy levels are. Uh, but it would be great if I could film a video or two on Wednesday, and then we'll be back on our usual reactions. Uh, those are usually up on Saturday. Uh, if you're new around here, we've been getting some new faces around here, which is great and exciting, and I love that, and welcome aboard. Uh, or if it's been a little bit. Um, basically, I just try to film at least anywhere from two to three, sometimes four episodes of just different videos a week, or film two to four videos a week. And uh, Slade picked up the win, so good for you, Slade. Representing Ohio well. <laughs> Here is your winner, Slade. I mean, Slade could be our pet project for my GM. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. But either way around, uh, let me know what y'all thought about this match. We'll be kind of just jumping right into the next one because it's on the same episode. We'll be watching uh, Ivy Nile versus Cora Jade coming up very shortly. So get excited for that. But congratulations to Slade for picking up the win in his first match here. We got one star, and I feel like that might encapsulate Slade pretty decently, right? <laughs> right, let's keep things moving. Wow, that loaded up fast. <laughs> Love that for us. Oh yeah, I updated the game, because I guess like there was an update today too, right? This could get interesting. We got Ivy Nile, of course, just making her way down to the ring. Just, you know, we're, we're about to jump into another match here. My br we are out of practice in terms of just like the commentary and stuff. We'll have to see what happens, right? Right. I, I went on a walk. Uh, I it finally got below 90 degrees this week, so uh, yay. Uh, I mean, it's still in the 90s here for a high in terms of the temperatures. Uh, we had a heat, we had a week-long heat advisory last week, which ultimately peaked at 101 degrees on Friday. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we were just trying to survive the week last week. <laughs> I feel like that's probably fair. But here we go, people. We got Cora uh, Jade, Cora Jade, <laughs> Cora Jade. <laughs> Water! Wait, I didn't realize we had extra graphics. We have that in the budget. Yo, know, my brain is just trying- we're trying to get back into the swing of things. I'm trying to get back to just filming, ideally more in the middle of the week, like on a Tuesday or on a Wednesday even. Like, kind of early enough in the week, because I got some stuff coming up this week. I got, um, I got a haircut this week, and then uh, I have my crown getting installed on my tooth, for my tooth, rather, on a Friday. So by the end of the week, we will be all caught up on the dental work. So, uh, hooray for that. Uh, and then I, I have the day off on Friday. So I'm going to go out and do fun things, come back here, have a laugh with everybody doing the reaction video, and we'll just sort of go from there. And, well, during the heat advisory, too, that was when we did the compilation video for our good pal Logan Paul of WWE. So if you haven't checked that little compilation out of our different little reactions, feel free to check it out. It'll be a good time. Uh, so there's that. I'm looking forward to watching this week's episode as well. Last week's episode was crazy. The, I watched bits and pieces of Monday Night Raw, mainly because I was watching the uh, hockey game uh, because two of my teens were in there. So uh, yeah, I, I'm too invested in hockey at this point, y'all. I've only watched, this was only like my second full season of watching. Like I would watch games here and there growing up. And I always kind of liked it, but I never got like invested into it. And now I have like a few teams that I watch on a regular basis. And it's always kind of changing and stuff like that. But like, I don't know, I'm, I'm invested now. <laughs> I'm invested. Like, yes, I finally found my, my sport. <laughs> I'm also a college uh, basketball girly, too. College football's okay, uh, but I, 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 pfft, I went to Kentucky, okay? That should probably give you, like, enough reason to be like, oh, yep, definitely college basketball. <laughs> a 
Let me know in the comments down below, outside of watching wrestling, what kind of sports do you watch? Are you a basketball person, a baseball person, football person, college sports person? You know, put it down in the comments down below. I, I don't understand why Cora Jade was doing that. Like, why, why were you just stalling, my friend? What is she doing? This is... What? I don't understand what Cora Jade is trying to accomplish here in this match. I'm... I'm Considering just like, can, can we just get rid of her? <laughs> I'm joking. It's it's probably some sort of a glitch in the system or something. I don't know. Oh, Mr. Rope Break looked a little funky there on my end. Unless if I, unless if I'm seeing something, which is probably the case. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I hope everyone's having a lovely week so far. Thankfully, we're getting to somewhat normal summer around here. I can't believe July is next week. Y'all, this year has been flying by. Like, we are almost halfway through the year. Like, uh, almost a week from now, we'll be into 4th of July. Like, what happened? I just... What happened? Let me know down in the comments down below. Are you all doing anything for 4th of July this year? I'm probably just going to be, like, just chilling in the apartment and hiding from people. <laughs> and listening to the fireworks. <laughs> and and what I mean by that, it's probably mostly just going to be people, like, having fireworks in their homes and stuff like that. But, yeah, I mean, I'm sure I'm going to get to see some kind of fireworks. Uh, what, what's interesting is that, like, we kind of have, like, a second version of 4th of July um, here in Cincinnati. We have, like, kind of a second 4th of July, almost, with, like, Labor Day, and it's, like, a whole big thing here in Cincinnati, where we have, like, all these fireworks. It's, like, a whole big thing. Like, you would think that that's the 4th of July celebration, but it's on Labor Day weekend. Um, I think I have some photos that from it from last year's on my Instagram, so just to kind of give you an idea there. I actually went the last two years now that I'm thinking about it. Um, but we got a lot of fun things coming around the corner. Most of the stuff that I'm looking forward to and just flat out doing isn't really here until like the latter part of August and into the rest of the year. Um, I have nothing really coming up in July, which is fine, because it's going to be too hot to really do anything. <laughs> I'm being real with y'all, okay? I'm working on my little apartment improvement projects here. Um, then we got... Then I'm going to see Green Day in August. Uh, September is Oktoberfest season, and Cincinnati has no chill when it comes to Oktoberfest season. Um, nice move right there from Cora Jade. Uh, October, we have the return of, like, the light festival thing. We did a vlog on it on the last one. Um, so that was cool. Uh, and it's expanding out a little bit further this year, which is really exciting. Um, so I'll probably vlog a little bit of that. And I have Aerosmith that same weekend. <laughs> so it's just... October's gonna be great. I, I love October. October's one of my favorite months. Uh, and then... Yeah. Let's see here. I think... Yeah, I think in November is when my mom's coming to just hang out with me for a week or so. Something like that. So that'll be fun. And then obviously December you have the holidays. So, lots of exciting stuff around the corner. Um, and then, of course, oh my god, y'all. They're doing Royal Rumble in Indianapolis, Indiana in February. Indianapolis, Indiana is only an hour and a half away from me. I might actually be going to this thing. <laughs> they, were, they must have been like, oh, Christina can't make it to her hometown in Cleveland for SummerSlam. Let, let's get let's get something close to her. And Royal Rumble has been like my bucket list item with wrestling things, because I've always loved watching the match and stuff. So I mean, I, I don't care if I'm like way up in the nosebleeds. I'm going. <laughs> I mean, you know, we'll have to also just take a look see poo and see what other just kinds of things are happening that weekend too. But I know Indiana has a few different teams for sure. I think. Let me see here. I know they got a few different teams. I know football and basketball for sure, and then women's basketball as well. I feel like they've got some other stuff too. But yeah, basically Indianapolis, um, you could probably compare it to maybe like Columbus, Ohio, I would say, given the population size. So it's like a pretty big city.
Yeah, it's got... Oh, jeez, where, where did it go? I just saw it. Okay, the 2020 census says that it was uh, 887,000. And then Columbus, Ohio is at like 907,000. To give you some perspective, Cleveland's got 361,000. And I think that number has actually gone down quite a bit, like just since 2020. Uh, and at Cincinnati, we are sitting at around 310,000 people. It's right around 309, 310, something like that. So needless to say, <laughs> Okay, here we go. Yep, okay. I remember the Indianapolis Colts. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, I know the Indiana Pacers. They've got the Indiana Fever. Okay, that, that all makes sense. And then, of course, they got, like, the, in, the Indy 500 and stuff, too. So, yeah, uh, we're, we're putting attack into the, uh, more than likely, going to Royal Rumble category. Could you imagine, though? Because, like, Indianapolis, they get snow in the winter time. You're gonna have people traveling in that may or may not know how to handle the elements. <laughs> I want a snowstorm for Royal Rumble, okay? Like, let me just fall into a snow drift on, on my way to get some snacks or whatever. <laughs> God, this went off the rails so quickly, but Cora Jade picks up the win here. Uh, my apologies, y'all. This totally went off the rails, but I mean, we had a lot to catch up on, right? Right. Uh, so, we're gonna go through the rest of the cards, see how we did. We're gonna set up and go through week nine, and then we're going to set up the PLE, and we're going to go from there. So that way I can actually focus in chit-chat and stuff. But I felt like this was a good little catch-up episode, just in general. You know, catch up on life and all that kind of stuff, and just, like, word vomit, all that good stuff. So <laughs> without further ado, let's continue, people. Let's see how we did. Alrighty, people. So uh, we did pretty good. Uh, we had a little bit of a rough middle, but that's okay. We stuck the landing in the opening and at the end of the show, and I think that's what counts. So, Becky Lynch won the opening matchup, Slade, Core Jade won, and then LA Knight, I believe, got the Intercontinental Championship back. <laughs> it's like we're only into week eight and it's already going hot potato. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. Four... Uh, four. <laughs> 42,680 fans. Look at us. Look at us. Oh my god. Okay. Beautiful. We did it, people. We're, we're doing all the things that we need to be doing. Like, how do they have all this money? <laughs> 58,000. 48,000 for ECW. 53 for... De we're trying our best to do the best that we can with what we've got to work with, okay? Okay, cool. We might need to actually use this one this week. Alrighty. Contract negotiation one. Beautiful. Lord knows we're going to need any and all of those, right? Right. Week nine! Okay, SummerSlam. I wasn't quite sure which one it was. <laughs> Alright, we just brought a new physical trainer on staff. He's worked with a ton of major sports brands. Cutting edge stuff. We can load him to your brand to, to help train some of your superstars to help them recharge and recover most of their stamina. They will have to set out a show, but you can have him long enough to train Axiom at LA Night for 30k. Trips, we don't have that kind of money. You see the budget. <laughs> One or two of those for free. I mean... Well, uh, do we not get to see the stamina beforehand? Oh, okay, let me see here. I'm glad I caught that. Okay, well... LA Knight's at 38. Where's Axiom at? I'm going to get Axiom over LA Knight because I think with LA Knight we could just put him in a promo and he should be good to go for the PLE. So let's go with Axiom. Perfect. Plus it's free. <laughs> Thanks for the match against Becky and Roxanne. All right. Beautiful. Yep. Let's do it. All right. We got to put Grayson Waller in a match. So... Let's see, we got here. Yep, that's our only promise. Because last time we had promised Dijak and LA Knight a main event match. And then Piper wanted to be in a triple threat or fatal four way. And so ensure that your least popular superstar, Giant, is in a match this week. Okay, Trips. <laughs> that, that's a lot. <laughs> 
Alrighty, people. So we've got our first match here. We got Grayson Waller versus Cody Rhodes to kick things off. The feud is stale, but at least we're almost at the PLE. <laughs> Two and a half stars. Okay, so Dijak just called out Axiom because that was an option, and we're rolling with it. Uh, Becky Lynch versus Cora Jade. Let's see who pulls out the win here. Becky Lynch picking up the huge win. Starting a feud there. Okay, cool. We're starting out some new rivalries. All right, love that. Okay, LA Knight cutting a promo, calling out Shinsuke. We got our good pal Luke Gallows and our good pal Slade. <laughs> and Luke Gallows picks up the win here. Hey, it went up to one and a half stars, y'all. <laughs> it's a work in progress. CM Punk calling out Braun Breaker. You'll love to see it. And then we got Roxanne Perez and Ivy Nile versus Piper Niven and Chelsea Green in the main event. I know that wasn't that wasn't great, but it is what it is. Oh, so tag team titles are on the line. Main event, let's go. Alrighty, Piper and Chelsea retain the gold. Let's take a look-see poo and see in how just everybody else did. I mean, hey, at least we're not the only ones that didn't do so great, but I feel like everybody was kind of resting up their main people. I feel like that's probably fair, right? Alrighty. I'm really enjoying the tag team feud. Love that. Okay. Everything felt different from last week. Perfect. 39,000 fans. And hey, we're over $100,000 for the budget, which means that we're probably going to get a bunch of power cards thrown at us, right? That's just how these things work. Okay, 47,000 for Raw. So, I mean, we're keeping up. ECW only got 40,000. 44. Okay, we're, we're doing good. We're, we're hanging in there, y'all. We're getting there. Uh, we're still like a good 50,000. <laughs> we're a good 50,000 behind Eric Bischoff, but that's okay. We're rolling with the punches as we head into SummerSlam. Listen, trips were trying. Battleship Brittany. What's up? It's good to finally talk to you. I got your number from your assistant. I hope you don't mind. I'm Battleship Brittany. I mean, listen, how how much? You can bring in extra fans for free. <laughs> Why not? Let's bring in Battleship Brittany. <laughs> Why not? Oh my god. This is going to be great. <laughs> I was like, I, we just don't care at this point. I, you just go, okay, well, you're going to get it in three weeks, Grace, and chill out. All right, well, I mean, we got that penciled in. Wait, how many weeks do we get Brittany for? She got a 10-week contract? I mean, okay. It is what it is. All righty, we're actually going to use the SummerSlam boost. So that would be look halfway professional. We're going to go ahead and book the show, and then we'll go over the PLE card, and then we will just sort of go from there. So again, kind of a shorter episode, and that is A-OK. -okay. We're, we're going to get more into the swing of things, you know, as we, you know, go on to the next couple of episodes. We'll do the PLE next episode, we'll kind of see how far we can get, and that sort of thing. We might do three matches, we might not, we'll have to see what unfolds, and how the card looks like. Alrighty, people, so running it down, we've got LA Knight versus Shinsuke Nakamura to kick things off with Falls Count Anywhere. We've got Axiom versus Dijak inside the steel cage. We've got Cody versus Grayson, Falls Count Anywhere. We've got Piper and Chelsea versus Roxanne and Ivy for the tag team titles in the tables match. Because, well, we were going to try to go for a TLC match, but clearly we couldn't afford it. And then in the main event, we've got Braun Breaker, CM Punk, Universal Championship in the main event, Extreme Rules style. So <laughs> that is our card. Now, I honestly think we might watch at least maybe three of these matches, probably. Uh, but we'll have a poll up in the community tab, so that way uh, y'all can actually take a look-see and, you know, vote for what matches you're looking forward to the most on that sort of thing. So again... Thank you all so much for tuning in. Leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button to see your notifications around here and that sort of thing. We should be back hopefully Thursday, if not definitely Friday, uh, hopefully sooner than that, but we'll, we'll see how the energy is a flow with and that sort of thing. So again, thank you all so much for tuning in. 